everybody! What's going on? My name is Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Golden Sun! Last episode, we fast forward three years in time. Now Isaac has grown a little bit, Garrett's grown a little bit. We have a new party member. Uh, as we start the episode here, I actually figured I should point out some stuff. So, Genesis has no usable synergy. Garrett has move. Move an object on the ground. So, we got all these funky psychedelic characters with synergy. We got purple there, gray. What else do you got? Yellow. Is this just cycle through? I'm actually not entirely sure. Yellow, okay. Isaac, watch out! Don't get too close to the river. Yeah, that's all you say? Hmm, interesting. So I guess he's guarding to make sure no one ever falls in here. And I get the implication that this is probably the strongman, generic strongman number three from three years ago that failed to save Felix, but I'm not entirely sure. Also, this is very square. I never noticed this before, but that's very square. Too square. Too square for me. Yeah. If you ever dream of seeing the world outside of the village, someday I'm definitely going to leave Vale. There's a, a book's entitled Journey to the no Northern Continent of Angera, and all about the Southern Continent of Gondwan. Isaac learned that Mount Edelith is on the western edge of Angera. This guy also likes his crackers on the wall, I see. I don't know, it might be a sign or something, I don't know. <laughs> I can't wait to leave the village. So if you come here, well first of all, we can see Jenna's old house is over there. Actually, I don't know if it's revealed in the plot, but yeah, that was Jenna's um, old house, and apparently, according to the plot, uh, I don't know if it's revealed in the game, and I don't know how people know this, maybe, but apparently, every day, Jenna goes back and sits up those runes for a few minutes. Hope you two won't be uh, taking Jenna outside the village with you. So, this is actually Jenna's grandparents' house. If you were alive, my granddaughter Jenna is finally happy again. Hope have you and Garrett to thank for that, Isaac. Yay! Jenna is a spinning image of her mother, whom we lost that day. I just want Jenna to be happy. So this is Jenna's aunt, and then her two grandparents. There we go. It looks like our, our antidote, sorry. Go check out what that does. Cures poison, which is not relevant to us yet, but it will be. Uh, there's a notebook belonging to Jenna's aunt. It contains sketches of Jenna's aunt and mother and mother Jewish children. Is that, is that, is that, I read that wrong or something? I don't know what just happened. Um, okay, just checking where, what, what boxes and such we need to check next. If we actually take a look at these ruins here, I believe there's more people we need to talk to. I'm not going to be talking to everybody, and I will say, this is by far the biggest village in the entire game, as you would imagine, so the place looks like just it did three years ago after the storm. Yeah, you'd think they'd clean this up a little bit. Yeah, let's leave this giant reminder that Jenna's entire family's dead right here. This is really weird, they put a box here. There, there was no box here before, I was able to run to the dock, but there's a box there now. I don't know why, but... Yep, there's just, there's just a box there now. An added bo Maybe it's just to stop people from falling in and walking on that deck. But, I mean, that's a weird, ineffective way, I guess. Or not, really. Because, I mean, I can't get there. Um, there's stuff here. Top left house. So this one. Uh, the pot, it says. This one? Yes! Three coins, ha And what do you say, young lass? The people outside of the Vale possess power synergy, that's why we need permission to leave the village to protect the secret of synergy. Hmm. So we can tell the laws of Vale, which describes Vale's custom. Get permission to leave the village. Never show synergy to outsiders. So we've learned a lot of things here. Do not show synergy to outsiders. Do not or use synergy only for good and introduce yourself somewhere. That's the few things that keep bounding into our heads. Oh yeah, I was actually gonna go over. Cure, restore 70 HP. Yeah, it costs 3 PP to use. Move is 2 PP. Retreat. Return to the dungeon's entrance. Try to use that now. Retreat doesn't work here, so yeah, it doesn't do anything yet. Um, I believe there's a jar in here. Is it this one? Might be outside, actually. No, I think it's the jar outside. I'll check this bookcase, though. Mighty power of nature. The power beyond human understanding can be seen in volcanic ash from the Great Floods. Okay, that's not too great of a thing. Uh, these are both pots. I don't know actually which one I check there. Uh oh. Oh, is it down here? I think it's down here actually. Hoopy soupies. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> if you don't stand in the in a good spot, you often won't collect stuff. Oh no. No, don't check it again. Curses. So this is actually the second time I've been recording this. Oh, it's this one here. I recognize that now. Smoke bomb! Didn't mean to save it. Uh, smoke bombs do the following. They obstruct enemy sight, so they actually cause dilution. Now your old man Crayon's got some visitors. Let's go skim with our synergy. 
Come on, friends, I thought Isaac, I like that. If you say no. What? You're too serious, Isaac. Only someone who has synergy would figure it out. Yes, yeah, silly goose. There's a book entitled Synergy Stone. Synergy is repulsed by touching a synergy stone. The reason why I says only a synergy would figure it out is because people, normal people actually can't see synergy. It's the magic of power. Okay. If your synergy runs low, uh, just walk around. You'll recover it slowly. That's actually a really important tip, but it's a bit misleading. See, Garrett has eight synergy. If we walk around a lot, that won't go up. Those only go up in places where you battle monsters, because otherwise they'd be a little bit overpeed, or overpeed, overpowered. The travelers that stop by they go meet the mayor? Nope. I don't think so. It's very polite to visit the mayor when coming to new town. It's a shameful not to do that. With synergy, the more you practice, the more you learn. That is very important, actually. And, you know, leveling system and stuff. I don't think there's anything here, is there? Um... <laughs> no, there's not. But, uh, we can get the introduction of stores here. But first, let's talk to this young lass here. Wise man knows to flee from battle when he's injured. Ooh. This is something I've always found a little bit weird. Good weapons aren't just sharp, they also draw out the strength of the user. So send my father. Do you know what he meant, Isaac? I do. Trust this guy. Good armor isn't just sturdy, it also draws out the strength of the user. That's what they say, but I don't know what it means. <laughs> so we got the first wise guy, and then we got the second stupid guy. I thought this girl was really cute, by the way. Just, uh, just the other. And here's another menu for the we've seen for the first time. So you can see by, you can see a sword there, a potion looks like an herb. Um, sell. I always thought that looked like a face. It's a big of gold tipped over. It doesn't look like the two forefront gold coins. They look like arms, and then, like the the bag of gold, the bag part looks like a hat, and then the rest of the gold looks like a face a little bit. So you could sell items. I'm not going to, but you can if you'd like. Uh, artifacts. You don't have many rarities right now, but do come again. Those are like one-time buy items. Repair. I see. What can I repair for you? So if anything that's breaking. Which doesn't really take a whole lot of part in this game, but yeah. So you see price tags on here. Generally, I don't really ever buy stuff from this uh, potion herb store. I mostly buy weapons and armor. What would you like? So we have, uh, there's no real need to buy, um, like there's no need to like buy a mace over like a short sword or a long sword. It's, it's all based on attack power. So if you go to look at the long sword here, you'll see that'll boost Isaac attack from uh, 27 to 34, and Garrett's attack from 23 to 29. So generally what I always do, and uh, some people kind of equip stuff, so Jenna's tiny, that's why she said, telling us that she can equip it. I would generally just give it to whoever's the weakest, just to up my general strength. And he'll also say, how about 90 coins for your old short sword? So he'll sell it to me, and you can also now sell it to Isaac. Then here you go. Would you like to equip it now, Isaac? Look older already. How about nine quarts for this year old short sword? All right, I'll buy it here. Your coins are. Let me give you this game ticket as a token of my gratitude. So he gets a game ticket. These are relevant later. Then here you go. Um, but they won't be for a little bit. Uh, yes. Yeah, oh, I don't have any money. Hmm. That's quite fine. What about this? Okay, Jenna can't equip that either. <laughs> Another trick you can do is you can actually, like, you see Jenna has a wind stick right now. If I want to, I could sell Jenna's wind stick and then buy her, but let's see what we do. Let's, let's take a look at the armor first. Ask me anything about armor. You have cotton shirt, travel vest, one piece dress, one shield, padded gloves, with a cap. Uh, everyone's wearing that except Jenna. Actually, Jenna has better stuff than I do, apparently. Um, give that to uh, good old Isaac there. 15 coins for a cotton shirt sounds. So we're just gonna bulk up a little bit here. Use all the coins you can. It's not super important to get um, max gear or anything. We're not going to be that in dire straits. Wind shield. I am pad of gloves. Oh, we could just barely not buy it. That's fine. We'll be fine. Pad of gloves for everyone. It's pad of gloves. Weirdly enough, you, there's three different armor slots. There's the shields, which is also gloves. There's the chest piece, which we're wearing travel vests now, I believe. And there's the hat. You start off with uh, your. You start off with a shield and. Um, and your, tra or your travel vest or your uh, ar your ar your base armor, but you don't get a helmet for some reason. I thought that was a little weird. Uh, Jenna needs it the most, so we give it to you, Jenna. There you go. And that's all I can buy for now, because we're down to four coins. <laughs> all right, we're almost done here, and then we can move on and do some more plot stuff. Let go. My grandfather was a powerful idiot. I'm so proud of him. Well, he died now. Uh, there's something in here. Where is it, though? Isn't this? No, uh, wooden box and blacksmith. That would be you, right? 
I a gardener. That's it for now. My father also died in that storm three years ago. Oh, really? I'm going to hone my skills. That way I'll be ready for anything. So, there's this blacksmith here, which you would think would be good for something, but I don't think there's ever anything relevant here, ever. My son is still in, and I don't, uh, I don't make him work too long, but if he takes after his father, I'm sure he'll be, grow to be a fine man. A fine young lad. Yeah, see, he doesn't sell anything, he doesn't, like, offer to make you any weapons, and even if he do come here later in the game, I'm pretty sure he doesn't do that either. This is an Isaac, just another quiet day in Vale. Crane had visitors when I dropped by this place this morning, I wonder what became of them. Isaac, have you remembered to meditate on Mount Aleph daily? Yeah, yeah. That's very good of you. Meditating helps keep the, helps keep peace in the village. If everyone were like you, things would have gone better three years ago. So, this right here is actually relevant to us now. So if you take a look at our synergy, Isaac's down to 17, Garrett's down to 8, so you can see by the red bars there. If you check this, the party's PP is fully restored. A great tip when using this is uh, if, like, let's say Garrett had lower HP, heal up as much as you can with, like, Cure, for example, and then use synergy so it not, will not only refill your health, but your PP as well. Hey, Isaac, have I shown you my new ability? No, we haven't generic strongman number four. Thanks hard work to reach his level of mastery, Isaac. <laughs> and then another boulder fell and crushed everybody. The end. Behold the power of synergy. Ha! Impressive, isn't it? Isn't it? Mm, yes. Wait, is it? Oh no, he's gonna do it again. Dang it! I guess he doesn't really. I thought he said something if he said no, but it, well, I thought I thought you had to say no for him to show it to you. Actually, Raylan's are our chosen people. Our powers of synergy are proof of that. Where are we now? Are you, you had a very difficult time three years ago, didn't you? Yes. I will say no. You lost your father. Jenna lost her whole family. It was awful. Imagine losing your entire family like that. At least Jenna's grandparents have been able to care for her. Yeah, it'd suck if she didn't have her grandparents. One of the men from that group stay here wore a mask over his face. He was trying to cover some scars or something. So, I really want to come here because there is something very interesting in here. The three travelers are staying here may not be thieves, but there's something strange about them. I mean, they might might be thieves too, though. A little bookcase. Book title, etiquette for travelers, rude not to introduce yourself to the mayor. Another thing is power to introduce yourself to the mayor, you idiot. Two of those three guests uh, staying with us have gone out. Two or three? Huh, I wonder if that's the Taurus and Lenardy of the two. Welcome to our inn. It's six coins for you to stay. So I don't have enough money. If you were to stay in an inn, though, it would refresh your HP and synergy as you would expect. Uh, is there really nothing in here? Hmm, I thought there was something in here. Hello. Hey, boy. Do you have business with me? Yes. That's too bad because I have no business with you. Be off! Off with you! Hey, boy. Busily, no. I suggest you stop wasting my time. Alright, so there's only two beds up here, so I guess the torso and the sleep with each other. <laughs> or uh, someone sleeps with Masky over there. Um, Alright, time to head up to Mount Aleph. Do, do, do. I don't I don't have any way to pass the time here. Um so yep, yeah, we've gone through the entire village. I don't know how closely I'm gonna be like talking to everyone in this game. Um there's a lot of dialogue as you would imagine as a JRPG. I will probably try to only talk to important people in the future, but that being said, there's not a whole lot of villagers to talk to this entire game. I mean there is, but it's not a crazy amount. Um in fact this will this is going to be 100 percent be the most like time spent towards solving the people's because there's so many. I said this would like lead somewhere because you could jump to you could jump one space over, but nope. Oh, I was also gonna point out it's weird because some people refer to these in the game like Garrett's sister referred to it as a statue, but sometimes people refer to them as logs as well. So I just thought it was weird. I was like, are they stones? Are they logs? What are they? I also always thought there was a face on it. Um, right below me, or the bum standing on was like the head, or the very top of the head, it was very fluffy, so right underneath is the eyeball, then the right there is a nose, and it looks like there's a little smile. I don't know if you guys can see it, but to me it is very obvious. So anyways, this guy we already talked to earlier, I'm trying to sneak up. If you just run past him once he turns there. By the way, this was the very first time as a kid I got so stuck forever. I had no idea you could go behind that tree, because there's other trees like this you can't go behind, so it's like... Why is this tree even here? I think the tree's literally here just to have the jump scare of this guy chasing you out. But it's so dumb because it's like, how the hell are you supposed to know to go up there? That looks like an impassable spot to me. Anyways, here's our soul entrance. Hello. Hallelujah. This is, 
This is the entrance to Soul Sanctum. This is your first time here, right? Sure is. It's an important relic of our past. Take a good look at it. The ancient temple. Oh boy. Jump puzzles. <laughs> of course. So, I've played this game so many times. A lot of these puzzles I am just gonna like haphazardly do. Haphazardly, is that the right word? Um, I'm saying I know this game very well, like the back of my hand. So a lot of times I'm just like, I'm just, I know how to do this stuff. And like subconsciously, I just automatically start doing it. Bats, now that we've actually fast forward three times, or uh, three years in the future, this is the only time in a game where the same enemy will actually have different stats and uh, powers and such. So to start off here, uh, oh, actually that's a lie. Really? No, okay, I'm actually incorrect about this. So these guys actually do change their stats, it's just not yet. In a little bit in the future here. So actually, let's go back into our powers here. Um, so uh, Isaac's only ability right now is to cure people, so he can cure anyone that has low HP. He recovers 7 HP, which is pretty, actually pretty awesome. Uh, flame, attack with fla flaring flames. Well, as you saw, this wasn't here when we were checking the synergy, men ener synergy minis before. It's so you can light stuff on fire. But generally, you want to position um, the blunt of the blow on uh, enemies you think would be a good idea. So anyways, Bat's party goes down. I'll, I'll go more into that in the next battle here. So just go down these long hallways. Of course, it's got to be epic. It's got to be long. Oh, are we going in circles? It's not freaking Lost Woods. Um, there's three pathways here. Alright, so. Well, I guess we got to attack with Isaac still. As you'll see here, this first diamond here is a little much larger than the other one, pretty much indicating that 100% of the damage will go to that one, and I believe it's 50% goes to the one beside it. We'll actually see here. Let's see what happens. 20 damage and 18. Okay, so it's, it's a lot more than 50%, but <laughs> there's a less percentage of damage goes to the ones that it isn't focused on. Oh, dead end. Wonderful. Run, devil! Great. 10 out of 10. So if we head back down this way, let's try the middle path. Middle's always right. It's, it's not. Spoiler alert. More bats. More bats. As we get far into this game, I will start skipping random battles. Oops. Oops. Ooh. Dang. Dang, girl. Um, right now, I'm gonna leave them in. At least until we finish up with uh, Soul Sanctum here. But afterwards, we will. Uh, oh, also, as you probably saw, it said Isaac was defending. It's, if uh, if someone's doing a single attack on something and it dies before you get a chance to attack it. Uh, you automatically would go into defense mode, which is both a good thing and a bad thing. Sometimes I wish that they would just attack the other enemy, but I mean, defending is not bad too. It does defend against 50% damage. I like check the chest. I like got a small deal. The first of many of chests in this game. I like check the chest, but the chest was empty. Oh, gosh dang it. Yeah, there's never gonna be anything in a chest that's already been opened, so you don't, you don't ever have to worry about being tricked. Unless there is, unless I've just been fooled all these years. We go over here. It's a relief of a minotaur. Are you sure it's a minotaur? It just looks like a normal bull head to me. The right eye is sparkling, but there's a hole where the left eye should be. Um, I didn't actually have opened up my inventory there. The game automatically did it for you. So, uh, if you go in here, that, essentially if your inventory automatically opens up, that pretty much tells you there's something, there's an item you gotta use. Beautiful shaped eye, uh, eye jewel, an important item. Yeah, I'm actually going more into the, uh, menu stuff there in a second. Isaac set the small gem to the empty save kit. Hear the sound of shifting stone. So uh, if we go back into you, wait, why was I gonna do this? There's a reason. Oh, and I was going on the item menu. That's right. So we can actually um, we can get some other things here. We can drop stuff. Drop up. You can hold it to 30 of a single item, by the way, or at least most items. Um, you can drop stuff as soon as you drop it, it disappears forever. It doesn't go on the floor or anything. Detail. I'll tell you like same number of uses, single use number. I have four. You can also give it to other people, or you could use it on other people. So, for example, I want to like Jen, myself, for example. You can burn all HP! Wow! You can also give some herbs to other people. So, like Jenna, for example, let's give her two for no reason other than just because. And there we go. So, here's some shifting stone. Oh man, we're caught by surprise. Sometimes that'll happen. It's just for, they get first strike sometimes. Also, it's not. For some reason, I don't know how this is determined, but. Not all enemies attack, but only two of the three bats attack for some reason. Not entirely sure how often or what is decided there, who attacks and who doesn't. But uh, that is something that happens sometimes. This is nice. Very nice. So, I'm going to save the time here. Ridsland's Shifting Stone. It's not in the middle path, because that's where the chest was. It's in the path that was the dead end. 
Just, just, just to save some time here. <laughs> Instead of wandering around pretending I don't know where to go. Yep, this is a room, all right, with some very flat-backed-looking statues. What's wrong, Hayden? Hmm. Those two said there was a hidden passage leading deeper to the site. How would they know that, though? I've come here many times, and I've always thought it looked strange. See, this is also confusing, because everyone's forbidden to come here, so how how does Kraden know? What? How's he been here before? I'm so confused. <laughs> I'd always imagine some something would look different somehow. What do you mean? Soul Sanctum was built in honor of the sun. I mean, soul is sun, so sun sanctum. Uh, there ought to be something here to reflect that. So he's puzzled why there wasn't. If there's a hidden passage, then it, then maybe it leads to... Well, let's see if we can find it. Are you serious? Should we help him, Isaac? No, we need to go back. We know they've been here. You can't seriously want to turn back after we've come this far. Oh, no. This sense of adventure has taken over. Let's help Crane. We should all stick together after all. Alright. Well, is it a good place as any to stop? I should try it. I was starting to talk about this before, but I failed to finish talking about it. Um, I did actually record three episodes and before, and I don't really like how they turned out. I was going too into detail in this game, explaining too many things. I think this actually turned out a lot better the second time around. Uh, but yes. So, in Soul Sanctum here, I'm going to call an episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, it would be amazing if you liked the episode. Subscribe if you haven't already. And next time, we'll go deeper into Soul Sanctum and uncover its secrets and find out if people are trying to rob and stuff. So, until next time, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!